So today it's kind of sad. All the snow is gone. But I figure I'm still going to work on the sleds again. I'm going to work on the 900 here. Um, I'm thinking, I don't know how well it's going to go, but I don't really care. I'm going to try painting the hood. It may not look great afterwards, but it doesn't look great right now. As you can see, it's all dented up there. You got some old stickers there we're going to have to remove. It doesn't even have the factory 1M stickers. It's got some weird stickers there I don't really like. And there's another dent there. And it's just... Just the hood doesn't look as good as it once did. So I'm going to try and uh, paint her up black here. Just nice gloss black. So we'll see how it goes. The first step is going to be to remove the hood. And I'm just going to remove it from the hinges here. Just leave the hinge on, I mean. Just pull the hood and it's just going to be these screws there. But first, before we do anything, we have to get the wiring harness and the speedometer disconnected. There we go. We got the main harness to the hood disconnected. Now all we got to do is remove that speedometer cable here, which is going to require, just going to use a pair of pliers and unscrew it from here, just like so, and it pulls out just like so. Now I got to cut all these zip ties along down here so that I can pull the cable off. Now it's time to remove these screws. I'm going to put the camera down while I get the last two out so I can hold the hood. Now the final part is to remove this hood catch um, cable here so I can get the uh, hood off. There we go. Got the hood off. Set it on down out here. And that's what the hood looks like off the sled. There she is all taped up, sanded down. You can make fun of my prep job all you want, but I don't care what you think, really. And uh, I'm just going to wipe her down and paint her up. There we go. It's wiped down, ready to go. And I'm going to start painting there. I'm going to just do a light coat at first, and then... We'll come back and do a heavier coat later. First coat done, already looking better. I'll be back out in a bit to do a second coat. Okay, I'm out here, gonna do a uh, second coat. This time I'm gonna do it till you can't see the stickers underneath here, and I'll pick it up once I got that coat on. There we go, second coat done. I don't know, might have gone a little bit heavy and got some uh, runs in the paint there, but uh, we'll all see how she looks when we're done. It's not going to be perfect, I know that. Okay, here we go. Put the third and final coat on. See how it looks after. Seems to have quite a few paint runs, so we may end up sanding it and repainting it, but that's okay. That's what it looks like. So, we're going to uh, put it inside so it doesn't get rained on or anything overnight. And I'll come be back with you tomorrow after school to see what it looks like so just gonna bring it up in here set her down and lead it up against the sled um we'll be back tomorrow so it's the next day we're back working on the 900 here as you can see she got dried up overnight some runs in it, but it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. I think with the wet sand, it'd be good. But it doesn't look great underneath either, so I think it's better than it was. So I'm not even really going to worry about that. You can see stickers are all gone for the most part here. So I'm going to get this hood put back on. So first step, putting the hood back on here. We're going to stand her up. And grab this little cable here. And then, we'll put it through this D-ring, or whatever they're called here. Make sure it's good and tight. Now, hood up. Try and set it on the hinges. 
We'll get a screw started on this side. Get a screw started over here. For some reason I only have four screws. I don't remember if I took them all out, so I'll have to go back and rewatch the video and see if I can find the other one if there was. There we go. Next step is to plug in the wiring harness. So grab the harness from here. Now we'll plug in the harness. Just like so. And connect the speedometer cable. Use the route around this way, I believe. Comes in under these. I'm going to just tighten that up by hand. The harness I plugged in the wrong way. Harness also supposed to be on this side. So we will pl plug that in. And then we'll put the windshield on and then we'll zip tie that up. So I'm going to pull the masking off here. Tried to keep some of the stickers that I liked on here by taping them off. Got a little bit of black paint over that Fox sticker, but that's okay. Now we'll grab the windshield and place it in here. Use this to apply pressure evenly. Try and pop it in there, just like so. And then push in the piece. There we go. This part of the windshield's installed. On the inside of the windshield, got these little rubber retainer rings. Just get pulled over, just like that. There we go. There we go. Windshield's on. Now it'll be time to zip tie what's under the hood. Okay. Now we'll uh, zip tie the cables out of the way. Or the speedometer cable and the wiring harness. Okay, now we'll zip tie the uh, wiring harness and speedometer out of the way. So, we'll zip tie around. Okay, now I'll uh, cut the ends off those, and I'll be back. Okay, now all the zip ties are in and tied up, or cut off, I mean. So, we'll put the hood down there. Now, I've got to peel off 
all of the tape on the headlight there. See that nice no overspray on the headlight underneath. There we go. That's the finished product. I think it doesn't look half bad. It's pretty good. And I'll show you here why I uh, wasn't too worried about how well it got painted. If you come down here and look, see there's a crack in the hood right there. There's another crack right in here. Um, now if we open up the hood, you can see the exhaust got too close and melted it through there at one point. And I got the thing, the tab that holds the headlight on. See, there's supposed to be this little piece bracket right here is not there. So it got broken off and there's a crack in the hood right up there. So I'm not too worried about this head, this hood. It's just got to get me through till I can find another one. So the hood's painted up here as good as it's going to get. Um, it only has to last me till I get a new hood here. I want to get a green hood so it matches back there. So if anybody in the uh, Grand Prairie or west of Grand Prairie, basically the Peace Country area in Alberta or BC, has a green Mountain Cat or King Cat uh, 1M hood, let me know here because uh, I might be interested in it. And I think that's about it for today. So thank you guys for watching. And if you would, please uh, drop it a like and consider subscribing. Thank you.